Welcome to our intro Matt Pilates class. This class prepares you for any of our M3 Pilates classes. Hope you enjoy. Let's start by standing. We're going to go feet just about hip width apart. Let's shift your weight forward to your, the balls of your feet or your toes. Shift your weight back to your heels. Bring your hands down to your sides. Shift your weight forward. Shift your weight back. If you don't have any balance challenges, you can close your eyes as you shift forward and back. Just feeling where your weight is through your feet. Then we're gonna to shift to the outside, so to the left, then to the right. I still want your, your entire foot on the ground. So your big toe, your little toe, the center of your heel. You wanna engage the ground. Now we'll start by tracing a circle around our feet. We'll move to the left a few times. Good, one more. Now let's reverse that and move around in the opposite direction. Good. So what you're doing here is just kind of waking things up from your ankle, okay? Your ankle is, is your steering wheel, really. So your ankle, your knee is a passenger, your hip is really your motor. So we're gonna plug into that. Now, stand tall. I want you to pull your weight now to the center of your body. Uh, so your weight, again, you take your big toe, your little toe, and the center of your heel, and you plant yourself into the ground. Take a deep breath in, arms come up overhead, Exhale, pull yourself taller, pulling your shoulder blades down along your rib cage. Inhale, up, reach. Exhale, down, pulling yourself a little taller. Inhale, up, exhale, down. Trying to pull your head, neck, torso, hip, legs, knee, ankle, everything in line. So up here, nice and tall, and then pull yourself nice and tall down. Let your hands come up forward and you're going to reach forward through your fingertips pull back through your shoulder blades reach forward through your fingertips don't stick your head forward pull back through your shoulder blades last one reach forward and pull back now we're going to open wide and back together good wide and back together one more time wide back together arms down from here let's go a standard roll down and then roll back up, locking or, or, or stacking each joint over the next. Roll down. And then coming up, roll up, stacking one joint over the next. Last one. Roll down. And then you're going to roll up, stacking each joint over the next. Now, the standing on your, on your mat, very back end of your mat, I want you to work here. Plant your feet again, connect yourself to the ground. We're gonna just work on a little bit of an arm swing. So that's gonna allow us to turn our chest a little bit. You can allow your head, I'm gonna turn my head with my body a little bit. And now I'm gonna allow my heel to come up. All right, so my heel will come up as I turn here. I'll take my right, he my right heel up, I turn, and then I turn away. So I'm loading myself, I'm gonna work myself into my hip. Okay, there, there, good. Now I'm gonna keep my head forward as I get a little bit of a turn, all right? That should allow me to engage my feet a little bit more. So if I face you as I do that, I'm gonna reach and turn, reach and turn, reach and turn. And that turn just allows me to wake my body up. I center myself a bit. Now from here, let's roll down and then walk ourselves onto all fours, okay? From here, we're gonna go angry cat, pregnant cow. Good, angry cat, pregnant cow. We're just gonna wake a few things up. Angry cat, pregnant cow, last one. Angry cat, good, exhale, and then a good inhale into pregnant cow, and then we're flat, good. From this position, I want you to just swing your feet around, and we're gonna lie on your back. Take your feet out in front of you and lying here, just want you to just take your arms up and just reach. Reach through your feet, through your heels, reach through your hands. And just feel your body kind of just lengthen here, pull, draw your belly button into center, drawing your abdominals in, reach, and now pull your hands back down at your side. Now, we go bent knees for a pelvic clock. So thinking about your hip, we're going to go to six o'clock, arching your back up. That's your inhale. 
exhale, pull back to 12 o'clock. Good. Inhale, arch your tail. So you're lifting your low back. Exhale, you're going to tuck your tail, roll your pelvis. Inhale, pelvis rolls forward. Exhale, tuck. Inhale, again, and then exhale, tuck. Inhale, now, and exhale. So imagine having a blueberry underneath your low back. You're just, you just crushed that blueberry. Now I want you to pull your pelvis forward just to the middle of that range. So if you go as far forward as you can, as far back as you can, and then find the center. That's your neutral position. Imagine that blueberry again under your low back. Do not crush it. All right. So draw your abdominals and keeping that still. Now let's work where we just shift your weight a little bit to the right side of your pelvis and then a little bit to your left side of your pelvis, a little to the right side of your pelvis, a little to the left side of your pelvis, and really work to control that motion, right? So as you, you're tilting, just imagine a, a sailboat, you're just listing a little bit here and a little bit there, just finding that. Now find neutral and engage. Hands down along your mat, Press your palms into your mat, opening up along the shoulders. Float your left leg up to tabletop. So tabletop, 90 degrees at the knee, 90 degrees at the hip. You should be able to lay something on your shin. That's your tabletop. Float your left leg up. Good. Just hold there. I just want you to experience that. Keep hugging your spine. Float the right leg down, then left leg down. And now we're going to do some toe taps. So lift your heels a little bit. Float your right leg up. Good. Right leg down, left leg up left leg down, right leg up and down, left leg and down. Now let's move together a little bit more. Swap and swap. Good. Pull that belly button in the center. Good. It's just toe tapping here. Good. Very good. All right. Legs come up to tabletop. Right arm comes up, right arm down, left arm up, left hand down. Send the right hand to the ceiling, back down, press into the carriage. Left, back down, good. Right, back down, and left, back down. Now float both left and right up. We're gonna go toe taps here, left. From the hip, right, good, left, and right. Very good, left, and right, left, and right. Good, left, and right, and back up. Now we're gonna introduce our arms. Left leg down, right arm down and back up, right leg down, left arm down, and up, good, that's it, mm -hmm. good job, hug your spine, good, whoop, whoop, whoop. I just confused myself, that's it, good, easy to do as you kind of layer in these movements, right, they get a little bit more challenging, especially if you're talking, and back up, Float the right leg down, float the left leg down, bring the arms back down. And from here, draw your belly button in the center. We're going to take our flat back bridge. So bridge up and back down and exhale and inhale and exhale, lift, inhale, exhale, inhale. You can bring your, walk your feet a little further away if you need to here. Exhale, up, inhale, good. Exhale. Inhale, flat back bridge and back down. Now we're gonna do an articulating bridge. And if you have any back issues, things like osteoporosis or just your back pain, you're gonna stick with a flat back bridge, but an articulating bridge, you're gonna roll up through the pelvis, through the lumbar spine, one vertebrae at a time up to the top, keep your hips up, roll down from the top, letting your pelvis or your hip be the last thing that hits the ground. So again, roll up and then roll back down from the top. Good, pressing your hands into the mat. Roll up, opening up the chest, roll back down. Good, roll up, roll back down. Good, and roll up and roll back down. From here, take your fingertips, just poke yourself here in your belly. You can breathe in, letting your belly move, but don't let your spine move. And out, hugging your spine. Inhale and exhale, hug your spine. Inhale and exhale. Good. Inhale 
and exhale. Last one, inhale and exhale. Bring your hands to the side. So your fingers are almost, almost touching, but not quite. Breathe into your side body or your side of your ribs. Expand and exhale. Let your fingers come back together. Inhale to the side and back and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Good. Again, inhale and exhale. Last one. Inhale and exhale. Very good. Now from here, what we're going to do is we're going to roll to your side. And come back onto all fours. And we'll go angry cat again. That's your exhale. Inhale into pregnant cow. Exhale into pregnant cow. I mean, angry cat, sorry. Inhale into pregnant cow. And exhale. Angry cat. Inhale. And exhale, angry cat. Hold there. And just give me a small rock back and forth between the hands and the knees. Good. And exhale, in, inhale down into pregnant cow. And now flatten the spine. We're going to work on sternal drops. So you want to drop your entire spine, just squeezing your shoulder blades together, and then press away. Keep, keep hugging your spine. So draw your abdominals in the center. Down, that's your inhale. Exhale, press away. Inhale, drop the spine. Exhale, press away. Do not drop your head. I like kind of what we said, packed neck. All right, so I want your head and neck kind of in line with the spine. And last one. Now we'll wag the tail on the dog. So take my right foot, reach across to the left, find my right foot with my eyes, and then find my right foot with my eyes. Good. There and back. And there and back. And there and back. And there and back. Last one. There and back. Good. Now I'm going to use my left leg, cross to the right, cross to the left, cross to the right, cross to the left, cross to the right, cross to the left. Good. Cross to the right and across to the left. Last one. Cross and here. Now I'm going to go to a bird dog. So I reach. And if that's challenging, keep the foot on the ground and reach. All right. So you can go here. That's it. Or here, reach. Don't let the hip rotate up. Keep the hip square, really squeeze the glutes. Don't drop your head. Good. And from here, back into your rest position. So just kind of sit back on the heels. Pull yourself back forward. Sit back on your heels. Take your hands over to the right. Good stretch. And then take your hands over to the left. And back to center. I've got no code. Abdominal <clears throat> close, hundred breath. Roll up, hamstring leg circle. Now we're back to this position here. We're going to come and transition onto our back. All right. And we're going to work through a series that helps us strengthen our abdominals. Knees are going to be bent up. Hands here at your side. Float your right leg up to tabletop. Float your left leg up to tabletop. Float your hands up to the ceiling. Deep breath in. Exhale. Roll. So it's an abdominal curl. In. Roll back. There you go. For two, you just roll in through the tips of your shoulder blade and back. Good. And last one. Good. Hands stay up. Let's go toe taps again. Good. Good. Now, if you want to make these a little bit more challenging, you take your hands up. That's it. OK, 
Good. Now bring the hands, the legs down. Arms are going to interlock your, head, your hands behind your head. And let's roll. We're going to just do a little bit of rotation here. Keeping the hands wide. Just through the tips of the shoulder blade. Don't stick your head and neck forward. Try to keep the lower body as stable as possible. Give me two more on each side. One. That's it. There. Last one. Roll down. Hug your knees. Very good. All right. Bring the legs back to tabletop. Arms here. You can bring your reach overhead and roll up. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Hug your knees. Very good. Roll down. Might have been a little bit challenging, all right? Good. So now we're going to take the legs back up, arms back up. I want you to inhale, roll up, hold, kick the left leg out, bring it back, kick the right leg out, bring it back, roll down, arms back up, and up, kick the right leg out, back, kick the left leg out, back, and down, and up, kick the right leg out, back, kick the left leg out, here, Good. If you need a little support, you can go here. Roll up. Kick the right leg out. Back. Kick the left leg out. Back. Roll down. Last one. Roll up. Right leg out. Left leg out. And back. To make that easier, you don't have to kick the leg out kind of at this angle. You can have it a little bit higher. Hug your knees. Good. And just rock a little bit side to side. Good. Now, from this position here, we're going to take your left hand touch the inside of your right knee. Your right hand is going to touch your right ankle. From this position, roll up just to the tip of your shoulder blade. Kick the left leg out. If this is too tough, keep the head flat. All right, so this is your regression, progression here. And swap legs. And swap. And swap. Good. And swap. And swap. Good. Swap. So the outside hand is always at the ankle. Good. Hold. Hold. Good. And in and exhale. And and breathe. Connect your breathing with your movement here. Right, that's it. Keep working. And last one. Hug your knees, roll back. Whew. Now rock side to side. Just a little side to side rocking here. Bring the legs down. Good. How do you feel? Hopefully you feel great. I want to do one more set of bridging. Palms down onto the ground. Pull your belly button into center. We're going to bridge up and back down. And up and down. And up and down. So flat back bridge. Up and down. Last one. Up and down. Hug your knees. And from here, roll up. Okay? Now, I like rolling like a ball. But we'll we'll kind of work through that a little bit. We're gonna do we're gonna practice a roll down. Hold here, just behind your thighs. Deep breath in as you exhale. I want you to roll, creating roll your pelvis back, and then roll back up from the top. Reach, and then hands back here. Tuck, roll, roll. Let your arms extend. You only go as far as you can here. Roll back up very good reach and here again tuck roll finding length and then roll back up from the top very good and here again exhale quick inhale and then exhale roll back up last one here Roll back up. Good. All right, so let's keep your legs here. We're going to roll down all the way. 
and then we'll roll to your side and come back up, or you can do a roll up, your call. All right, so here, roll down, and roll back up, reach, and nice and tall, roll down, and roll back up, reach, tall, roll down. And roll back up, reach, tall, last one, roll down, reach, roll back up, nice and tall. And so if you did a roll down and rolling up was challenging, you roll to your side, come up, and you can just alternate the sides that, that you roll from. Now we're going to work on kind of rolling like a ball. All right, so grab here, just the, the front of your, your shin. Train your eyes down towards your thighs or your heels. Hover. Let's hold. Good. Just kind of hover, kind of balancing here on your sit bone. Roll back, keeping your head tucked because you do not want to hit your head. Roll. Good. There we go. Good. Roll. And if you have any active disc issues or low back pain, osteoporosis, we won't do this one. That's it. The last one. And up. Good deal. So roll back, bring your knees to your chest here. And pull your right knee to your chest, back, left knee to your chest, and relax. Scoot something up. Let me do small leg circles. I do my seated series. Small leg circles, hamstring stretch, seated series. <clears throat> All right, so we'll, you're lying on your back, legs, knees are bent. I'm going to straighten my left leg out, bring my right knee to chest or to tabletop, and I'm going to kick that leg up to the ceiling. And if you feel like you can kind of hold that, there's not too much pressure in the front of the, uh, the hip, great. If not, we're going to bend the knee a little bit. We're going to do some leg circles. So I'm going to come up. Good. I am going to take a deep breath in. Good. All right. And then I'm going to inhale, go wide here, exhale, up to center. Inhale around, exhale up for two. Inhale around, exhale up for three. If that's, this was tough, I'll go inhale around, exhale up for four, and then up for five. We're going to do just small leg circles, okay? So again, inhale, exhale, up for one. Inhale, exhale, up for two. Inhale, exhale, up for three. Inhale, exhale, up for four. Inhale, exhale, up for five. Pull that knee to your chest and down. Good. I'm going to kick that leg straight. There you go. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and inhale. Exhale, up for one. Inhale. Exhale, up for two. Inhale. Exhale, up for three. Inhale. Exhale, up for four. Inhale. Exhale, up for five. Good. Now, inhale. Exhale, up. One. Inhale. Exhale, up. Two. Inhale. Exhale, up. Three. Inhale. Really kind of hold. Four. And five. Try to keep this still here. Pull your knee to your chest. Good. Here, rock a little side to side. And then I'm going to straighten my right leg out, grab my left calf if I can. So I'm just going to get just a good hamstring stretch here. I can point and flex my foot just to floss the back of this left leg. You don't want to hold necessarily right at the back of the knee. So if you can't grab your calf, you can grab just the meaty part of your thigh. Good. Knee to chest there. 
down and switch, kick, good. And I'm gonna hold there, kind of settle in, point and flex my foot. And knee to chest, very good here. And we're gonna roll up. And so this, if rolling up here is an issue, again, just roll to the side, come up. And we're gonna start off really just kind of spine stretch forward. So nice and tall, get onto your sit bones here, hands forward. You're gonna reach forward with your upper body and push your low back backwards. So I'm reaching here, I'm pushing forward, upper, pushing back, lower. Good and tall. Again, draw in, in your abdominals, pushing your lower back back, pushing your upper back forward and tall. Again, that's your exhale, drawing your abdominals in. And forward, finding length, dropping your shoulders away from your ear. Push, reach. And back up. Last one. Drawing your abdominals, reaching. And back up. Very good. Now, I'm going to take my, my legs a little wider, so kind of towards the edge of the mat. We're going to do... Uh, uh, spine stretch side. I'm going to take my hands out here and I'm going to reach, dropping my shoulders out of my air, down to my left side, keeping my right sit bone or right, right butt cheek on the ground. We say in class sometimes keep both butt cheeks or keep both butts on the ground or, or both butts on the carriage and back up. And back up. And up. Good. And up. And up. Now I'm going to take my legs a little wider and I get a little bit of an adductor stretch. Here. And just breathe. So hopefully you're kind of learning a little bit about your body. Um, if you wanted to, you can take this to one side. And then come back, take it to the other side. And I'm going to bring my legs back in here. Kind of wanted to leave this. So if you have, again, any kind of low back issues, um, if you have osteoporosis, this one, you continue doing an adductor stretch, you will not do this one, which is a, a saw. I'm going to take my hands out to the side. My, my heels are about as wide as my mat. I'm going to rotate, reach down. Chop my little toe off, rotate my back hand, and then come back up, reaching. And up, pause in the middle, and reach. Up, 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 and reach. I'm going to go one more to each side. Reach. Nice and tall and reach. Good deal. Now come back through here and I want to end up just in my rest position. Baby swan, quad stretch. Single leg kick. Okay, from my rest position, I'm going to walk out flat. I want my hands here just about as wide as my shoulders. We're going to kind of do a low swan. So I start here. I'm going to breathe in. Pull my shoulder blades down, eyes stay down, and just lift up 
finding T-spine extension. Okay, so my palms, forearms pressing into the ground, pulling my shoulder blades down. I'm not arching my head, I'm kind of keeping my eyes down. And then exhale back down. Inhale, slide the hands, reach, breathe, and exhale back down. Drawing in those abdominals as we work through here, and slide down, breathe, finding that extension through your T-spine, and then back down. And again, up. Really get tall, pull your shoulder blades down, open up your T-spine, and then exhale back down. Good. Again. And back. So imagine having a light along your sternum or breastbone. You're trying to shine that light forward without arching your head and neck. Very good. Now, just from, from this position, I'm going to get here. I'm just going to just prop myself up here. I don't want to drop into my shoulders, but I'll go here. Um, and from here, I'm going to just basically go pull this heel to my butt and out. And then we go left and out and right and out and left and out. Now I'm going to go right, kick, kick, and left, kick, kick. Good. Right, kick, kick, and left, kick, kick. Draw in those abdominals, kick, kick. You don't want that pressure in your low back. Good. It's really more of a T-spine extension. And then left, kick, kick. Now I'm going to come down. I'm going to grab my left leg I can grab with both hands or I can just grab with one or if I feel froggy I can come across my body and I can pull that way but you know just easy grabbing here giving yourself a good stretch through your quad do not arch up pull into center through your abdominals and to get a good quad stretch there and now I'm going to swap to my right side Hold. Again, if you want to use both hands, great. If you need to use a towel to do this, that's that's also okay. Um, you know, just uh, being able to modify things, is, it's it's really good. If you can't get to your foot, then you can just kind of go this way. That works as well. Good deal. And then let's come back up to our rest position. So from our rest position, we're back on all fours. I'm going to walk forward a little bit just for what we have coming next. So I'm going to, we're going to go through sternal drops again. So everything is flat, lower, and exhale. Inhale, keeping everything flat, exhale. You're just going to lower down between the shoulder blades and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Now we're going to go back to bird dog, reach. See if you feel a little stronger through this series. Good, straight back. Good, extend the hips. And last one. Now from here, let's walk out into a plank. Hold. Three, two, one, and back. That's difficult. We're gonna walk you just your heels back. Hold, three, two, one. One, good, and walk back again. And four, three, pull your belly button into center and walk yourself back in. One more time, reach. And four, three, two, one, back in. Good deal. Kind of rock back to sit on your heels. Reach your hands to the right. 
and reach your hands to the left. And back to center. Now we're going to come around here, lying on your mat. I want your feet pointed towards the, your back along the back edge of the mat, but I want your feet pointed forward to the front edge of the mat. Hand under the head. This hand's going to be here for balance. Draw in your abdominals. I want you to feel like you can roll a blueberry right under the side of your body. So you're square. All right, you're not rolled forward. You're not rolled back even with the hip, all right? So from this position here, we draw in your abdominals. So an inhale, lift and back down. And here again, lift and back down. I'm drawing my toes towards me. I'm only going just about as, as wide as my shoulders. I'm not going super high. Good, there we go. There, that's it. Good. Engaging the ground with this hand as well to help me support. Don't want to arch my head and neck. Good. Two more. Good. All right. Now, keeping that position there, I want you, you're going to hover, pull, one, and back, and two, and back. So it's your front kick, and three, and back, and four, and back, and five and back and six and back and seven and back and eight and back good deal down we're going to do a, a rear kick i'm not going to pulse pulse but just a nice smooth movement back only as far as the hip is going to allow you to so you're not going to go back and arch we're just going to go back and forth that's it good uh-huh that's it and one more back down good let that leg just kind of relax you may come you may have to flex and extend the hip but that's good you pull that knee to your chest to stretch out good now we're going to sit up and flip to the opposite side again your back runs along the back end of the mat your legs come forward to the front end of the mat hand under the head Support here with my left arm or left hand. Pull into center. I'm staying flat. Lift and back. Lift and back. Good. That's it. Lift and back. Pull your foot towards you. Good. Drawing in the abdominals. Finding control. And back. Good. Now we're going to hover. Go forward. Good. Mm-hmm. Good. That's it. Pull your foot towards you. Good. Last one. Perfect. And back down. We're going to rest. We're going to go posterior now or back into extension. There and back. Mm hmm. Good. That's it. Good. Don't forget we're breathing here. Okay. This inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. That's it. Inhale, exhale. Bring that leg down. Bring your knee up. Hug and back down. We're going to roll through here back into our rest position. From your rest position, I'm going to end up back, lying on your back. Okay, so we come back onto our back, knees bent. Take your right leg. Unless you have any issues with your hip, take your right leg. You can just press down here. Get a good stretch. I like to reach up with the opposite arm. If you feel froggy, you can drop your leg to the side here. But it's not necessary. It's not necessary. Good. So good stretch there. Swap sides, press down, reach. Good. Again, if you wanted to, 
do that. Great. Bring the hand, bring the leg back down. Drop the legs to the right. Left arm comes up. Drop to the left. Right arm comes up. Good. Just a good stretch. Good. And rotate the head up. Good. Hands down to your side. Pull in. Uh, pull your belly button in. Right leg, left leg comes up, right leg comes up. You can come to happy baby here. Roll up. Good. Just rock a little bit side to side or leave your head down. Rock side to side. You can kind of alternate your kick out here just to get a little stretch. Good. And I bring the hands back, the feet back down, hands back down. I like to just let the knees now just drop. Good. Go wide with the feet. So get some good hip internal and hip external rotation. Good. Now let's roll to all fours. And if we can, we're going to do a push up. So you have a, your knee push up here, down, inhale, shoulder blades back, exhale up. That's your push up here. All right. If not, if you can do a regular push up, then we're going to come out. And again, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Let's do two more. Inhale, exhale. Last one. Inhale, exhale. Very good. Back, rock back into a child's pose. Then up into a downward dog. And roll up to finish. So it's a good uh, just intro from a mat standpoint. A lot of what we did will transfer to the work we do on a reformer. But from a movement standpoint, just a good movement experience. So again, the, the goal is always to move well, live well and do amazing things. Thank you.